No, it didn't have anything to do with the centenary. That, that's just coincidence. Um, a couple of years ago, my son's teacher asked me to come up and talk to his class about Anzac Day because he was the only one in the class that had a direct link back to Gallipoli because my grandfather and great uncle fought there. So I took my grandfather's medals and um, we also have copies of the telegrams that his family was sent when he was wounded and he became very ill after he was wounded. And I started to read the telegrams out to the kids. Terrible news, you know. Um, we regret to report that Private Arthur Freeman was wounded. And then the next one said he was seriously ill. And the next one said dangerously ill. And then still dangerously ill. And finally, out of danger. And I started to wonder what would it be like to be the person who got those telegrams. Uh, you know, such terrible and such wonderful news, and that's really where the book started. Yes, absolutely. There's no doubt that they were. Um, it's not as obvious in Australia as it was in England, because, or America for that matter, because we already had the vote. Australian women got the vote um, at Federation. And because of that, in the first part of the 20th century, you don't see Australian women being chained to fences outside Parliament House as you do in England. And so the fact that these women were incredibly strong is not as obvious to us, perhaps, in Australia as it is um, in England and America. But they absolutely were. And the Red Cross is a really good example of that. Nine days after the war began, um, the Governor-General's wife started the Red Cross and in Australia and it became a huge organisation that's in support of the war effort and it was completely run by women and I think that's a really good example of how determined, how organised um, they were and the kind of person we think of as a modern woman has always been around, um, it's just that quite often they weren't written about or else they were written about in negative terms.